In this Maya tutorial, I'm going to show you how to UV map a simple cube and make it look like a dice. To do that, we need to go to the poly modeling shelf and create a cube. This cube is fine as is. Then under workspaces at the very top right, click and go to UV editing. This brings up a two panel view that allows us to see our perspective view on the left and the UV view on the right. U and V are just like X and Y. They just mean the two axes on the graph. For example, V is the green line or vertical line, and red is the U line or horizontal line. Here we have shells, and instead of vertices, as we have over here, if I click vertex, I get vertexes, but over here, I get UVs. So there's just a little bit of terminology. And also, instead of faces, I get UV shells. Over here, it's face, and over here, UV shell. So I can select all these UV shells and see them all. I can also turn on wireframe, so now I don't see anything here, and I could see a texture behind this, and I can see it with the UV shells shown. Notice that this point is zero and then one. Same here, zero and then one. We call this the zero to one space, and we want all of our UV shells to be inside this space. For this simple cube, Maya automatically unwraps it perfectly. So this is just like unwrapping a present, the minimum amount of paper you need to wrap this cube. And if I select face over here, I can click on each face and see which one corresponds to which UV shell over here. What I want to do is be able to take this diagram and export it into an image editing program so I can create a texture. To do that, I need to right click in the UV editor and select UV shell. Select all of the shells, then click the camera. When you click the camera, it should default to your project image folder. You can select which size you want this to be. This is fine for the small dice texture and you wanna select the Maya IFF format. Also, make sure you uncheck the anti-alias lines. That way we can have nice, crisp, easy to see lines. Click apply and close. Then go to Photoshop. In Photoshop, open the file. It will be in your images folder of your Maya project. When you open the file, it will have a transparent background and all the lines will be crisp white. Make sure you uncheck the anti-alias button in the snapshot if you have gray fuzzy lines. To make these lines easier to see, we're going to add a background. We'll make a new solid color and we'll select black. This just makes it easy to see. Move that layer down, then click the padlock to lock it. We'll rename this layer UV. Then we'll set its blend mode to screen and we'll lock it. We'll then create one more layer, label this texture, and then we'll put it in between the UV layer. Here is the UV layer. Now, if I draw on this, notice that I can still see the UV marking lines or guidelines over my texture. When we export this texture, we want to uncheck the UV layer and we want to uncheck the color fill layer. So we only export the texture that we want. This dice texture onto my layer here, I'm gonna delete this texture layer. When I export it, I don't want to see the UV lines and I don't want to see the background. Then I can go to Photoshop, File, Save As. This time, instead of the images folder, we want to save it in the source image because this is a file that we're going to use. Save it as a Photoshop, that way we can go back to edit it. Then go to File, Save As. This time, instead of a Photoshop file, select the IFF format. Then instead of calling it Dice UV, you can call it Dice Texture, blue. And when you click Save, make sure you select Maya as the platform, press OK. Then we'll go back to Maya. In Maya, in the perspective view, right click and go to object mode. Select the object, then right click, assign new material. We'll select a blin. Then in the blin for color, click on the little checkerboard box. Then select file. Now we have to select which file we want. Click on the folder icon and it'll automatically go to our source images folder of our project. Now I can select the dice texture blue. Click open. Likely you won't see anything because you probably don't have view textures on. Press six on your keyboard and then you'll see the texture. Now we have this texture that's all around our object. 
Now we have the texture on our dice and it wraps all the way around because of the UV mapping. 